hi guys welcome back to my channel if you haven't already make sure you do subscribe for new videos every thursday and as you can see i have no makeup on today so i am going to be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine by using the products that i showed you guys in my last video if you haven't already make sure you do check it out i will put the link in my description um so let's just get started it really really took a lot for me to get on camera um without any makeup on i'm really insecure about my under eyes this is what i was talking about now you guys can see but i'm gonna show you guys how i do my best to cover them up and just make myself feel and look beautiful i am not a makeup artist this is just what like disclaimer um i'm not a makeup artist this is just what works best for me so let's get started so I've already um, moisturized and put sunscreen on so I'm just going to start by using this primer that I showed you guys in my last video. It's from Maybelline. Um, it's the white bottle. They have a few different ones. Um, so this one is number 100 and it's supposed to blur and smoothen your skin and your pores which is what we need on this side. And the next thing I'm going to use is my holy grail. Like I told you guys, this is what works all the magic for me. Um, this is the Prep and Prime corrector from MAC in the shade Peach Luster. So I'm just going to put it uh, right under my eyes. It's very orange. It looks even more orange on camera with all these ring lights. And then I'm just going to take my beauty blender and blend it out I've always used um real techniques I'm sorry I don't know how you guys do this like really props to um all the YouTube makeup people because how do you talk and look in the mirror and this is a lot going on right now um sometimes I just like to Put it around my mouth too, just because I feel like I have some darkness around there uh, that I want covered up. So there's that. And now I look like, oh my god, what are those people? What are those people from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and they're all orange? Why can't I remember the name? Comment below. What are they called? So now that I look like a character from a movie, we're going to move on to um, the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And I'm using the shade Toasty Toffee, which is for W2. Um, and I just be putting my foundation on with a beauty blender also. So I just put it right on there. Um, I don't like to use too much because I feel like then my face looks too cakey and I still wanted to have like a natural look to it and that's why I really really love this foundation because it matches my skin to the T um but yeah I just put it all over my face and then I just blend away see like it literally is the color of my skin like can you even see it on my forehead it's just melting it's just melting right into my skin so you see the orangeness is gone now obviously because it's covered by the foundation but you can already tell that even before I put concealer on, my under eyes already look a lot better. So I really, really, really love this um, corrector that I have. That is done. I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Tan Sand. Um, so I learned this trick from TikTok. I forgot why the guy said to do this, but I think it's supposed to like lift your face. So I put a little bit of a concealer like in the corner of my eye and then up here I'm going to do the same thing on the other side because he said that when you make that triangle 
um, under your eyes, which a lot of people do. Um, it drags your face down and we don't want that. So I also use a beauty blender to, I just use a different one than the one that I use for my foundation, but I use a beauty blender to do my concealer too. I'm just going to let this sit for a little bit because, um, not for too long so that it gets stuck, but just for a few seconds so that it blends out nicer and I get a little bit of more coverage under my eyes because like I said, my eyes are really, really the only reason that I started doing makeup in the first place and the only thing that really bothers me about my face. If, if I could just have no bags and no darkness around my eyes, I promise you guys I would not wear makeup. Like, true story, I would not wear makeup. There's so much that you can do with makeup and like honestly do it however the fuck you want to and don't let anyone sit here and tell you um, that anything that makes you feel good is not the right thing for you. Okay, um, so I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty setting powder in um, the shade Banana to just bake under my eyes. Damn, all these faces I'm making on here. Don't judge me, guys. I be putting a lot on. Yo, I literally look crazy. I be putting a lot on because, um, and I be letting it go around my nose. Because I don't actually contour my nose, but I feel like when I do this, it fake be contouring my nose. And then, <laughs> I'm just going to put some. Around my cheeks. If someone ever texts you what you're doing and you'd be like baking and they'd be like what are you making and then you send them a picture of your face because I do that a lot. The first time that I ever baked it looks like it's a lot on camera guys I promise you it's just the lighting because in person it's not that much but um when I first started baking I used like a translucent powder and I really trust me I thought that I had done the best thing the best makeup job in the world like i thought i had really had this makeup shit down packed and then i left the house i went out and i took some pictures and i looked like a fucking ghost like i literally looked like a fucking ghost so i'm just gonna contour with the anastasia beverly hills contour kit i don't think this is medium to tan i think this is um, light to medium but I'm just gonna use this shade in the corner right here um, I'll actually be mixing these two together and just gonna go around my forehead my big ass forehead I never tie my hair when I'm doing my makeup I literally don't tie my hair to do anything besides take a shower or when I'm straightening my hair and have to separate it into pieces other than that, my hair is always open, and my mom be so annoyed. I just feel like I have a routine, and it works for me, and I like how it looks on my face, so, therefore... I'm gonna keep doing it. Like I said in my last video, why fix something that's not broken? Like I literally be buying makeup products just to only use the ones that I use all the time. You see how my face is already looking skinnier? Like whoever figured this out was actually a genius. Um, I like to put some around my jawline as well. Next I'm gonna use this MAC 
blush it's in the shade raisin and like I said I only like to use a little bit so I literally just dab I already did it so I'm not gonna do it again but I just dab it once and then I still be taking it off my brush because I don't want it to be too much but I have really high cheekbones so that's also another reason why I like to wear blush because I feel like it accentuates them and I always like to bring my brush up so that it lifts my face and now I'm just going to take all this off you see it's literally magic I promise you makeup is magic because look at my eyes now what darkness what bags and now I'm just going to use this Fenty Beauty um, highlighter um, in the shade cognac candy and this one I think you can actually um, use it all over your body I think because it says all over diamond veil um, I don't use a fan brush to put my highlighter on. I feel like it doesn't catch the product as much as I would want it to. So I always use, I don't even know, I just use this brush. Um, put some on my nose. Can you guys see it? I'd be going overboard and now that this light is so bright and you guys can't really see it. Oh, you can now. I'm gonna go even crazier. It's just so crazy sometimes also, like the difference between when you do your own face and when you get your face done by a makeup artist because I feel like they really be transforming my face into something completely different. Not that I don't look like myself, but it be nothing like how I be doing my makeup. So sometimes I'll be feeling like I'm doing things wrong, but I really like how I do my own um my own face just because I feel like it's a very natural quick look right now it's just taking me longer because I'm explaining everything to you guys I should have timed it and just done it without talking to you guys because I can literally do my face in 15 minutes or less I'm gonna use this Too Faced mascara it's called damn girl um and like I told you guys I don't know how to put lashes on but I'm gonna learn I'm determined to learn this week should I film myself trying to um, put, clearly I can't talk and do things like this at the same time, record myself trying to learn how to put on lashes. I'm going to get so frustrated. I get mad so quick. With little things like that, I get angry so fast and I would probably start cursing like crazy. So that brush is a little too thick and I'm scared because I'm so clumsy that it's going to um, get on my face if I try to use that on my bottom lashes. So I'm just going to use this other one um, by Tarte. It's called Lights Camera Lashes and the brush is thinner. And and then... <laughs> To top it off, I didn't show you guys this in my last video, I totally forgot, um, but I use the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus to set my face, so this is the only time that I'll pull my hair, pull my hair back, um, so I'm just going to use spray it on my face. This is very, very basic, I feel like anyone can do this, um, I think... The main thing is finding products that you like and that actually work for your face. And then after that, you can teach yourself. I feel like anyone can teach yourself. It literally just takes practice. Trust me, the first few times I did my makeup, I probably looked like a fucking cinnamon roll. Um, but this is the final product and I love it. I like how my face looks. And now I'm ready for the day. Actually, no, I lied. 
we're gonna finish it off with some lip gloss this is fussy by Fenty Beauty clearly I have a million of her products and it's all because my best friend buys them for me okay now we're done you can't see any of the darkness under my eyes you can't see any of the darkness around my mouth um i think it looks really good and yeah so that's my everyday makeup look um i really hope you guys enjoyed and make sure you guys like comment and subscribe for new videos every thursday thanks for watching